Here you can see this multimeter is flat. If I turn it over and undo these two screws, here you can see in this multimeter the battery is a button battery, in this case a CR2032. I like to mark the old one so I don't get it confused. Put in a new one, batteries have a shelf life, so I like to date the last replacement battery. The shelf life isn't an indicator for how long the battery holds charge, but how long it takes for the battery to start to leak. In this case, I'm good for a few years. Let's have a look at this clamp meter. Flip it over, have a look at the batteries, and these ones seem to be double A's. Same deal, mark the old battery so you don't get the confused. Give it a quick test, screw it back up, and ta-da! Let's have a look at this one. This one, if you flip it over, undo the screw, have a look underneath the panel, and you'll see that this one is a 9 volt battery. Unfortunately, I've let this one sit for too long. You can see the battery has started to leak and corrosion is forming around one of the terminals. It doesn't look like it's leaked too bad, so I think this one's worth repairing. I'm faced with two choices. I could cut and re-solder that 9 volt plug, or I could use a little trick and just neutralize the acid that has built up there. To do this, you need some sodium bicarbonate. Get some sodium bicarbonate and mix it with a little bit of water. Just like what I'm doing here. This is a teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate in about a cup of water. I've got an old toothbrush for doing this sort of thing, so I'm just going to give it a little scrub. Pick off the little bits that don't come off easily. There we are. That looks a fair bit better. I think that's good enough to use. I've let that sit overnight now to dry. If you were impatient, I guess you could get a hairdryer and warm it gently just to dry it out quicker. Now I'll just give it a quick test before I screw it back up. And yep, the test works. So I'll label this, screw it up. Let's have a look at this last one. This is a really cheap and nasty one. And probably the battery is going to cost more than the multimeter when I bought it. But let's have a look at it anyway. It doesn't even have a panel to neatly replace the batteries. I've got a bad feeling about this. So the screws just screw into these little plastic risers here. I don't think this product is made to last. Over time, as you screw and unscrew this, the plastic will erode away and you won't be able to tighten them anymore. But for now, we'll give it a go. I guess at least there is some kind of a battery holder. But what kind of battery is that? After a quick trip to the local chemist, it seems to be called an A23 sized battery. I've not heard of this before, but it turns out it wasn't too difficult to find. Quick test before I do up the screws, and it works. And if you're wondering, yes, the new battery cost more than the old multimeter. 